I am talking about the goodness of God. I want to encourage you. I'm talking about what? The goodness of God. Number one. We serve a God who is good. In Psalm 119 verse 68. You are good. And what? Do good. Teach me your statue. What the Bible is saying is that God is good and everything he does is good. Even though you may not understand. He, everything God does is good. Are you hearing me? What you may call good may not be good to God. God is the only person. You remember when Jesus was on earth here? Uh, people went to him and said, good teacher. And Jesus said, why do you call me good teacher? There's only one person that is good and it's God. So God is good and whatever he does is what? Good. Number one. Number two. The belief in a good God is what will keep you going in difficult times. If you don't believe that, if you don't believe you serve a good God, you cannot make it in difficult times. Let's go to Psalm 27 verse 13. I would have lost heart. This is David. Unless I had believed that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Let's read it from the Amplified Version. It only amplifies it. What? What would have become of me had I not believed that I would see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living? This is David. David was anointed as a king at the age of 15. Around 15. He became a king at the age of 30. 15 years. And the thing David went through. Look, nobody has ever gone through. Imagine. The whole army of Ghana is looking for you. The whole army of Israel was looking for one person. He was running and every and he gets to a, to a point that a time came he had to go to the Philistines his own enemies and behave like a mad person and now David is telling us that what made him never to give up in spite of everything he went through is that he believed that he served a good God and he will live to see the goodness of God are you hearing me that is what kept him. He believed that I serve a good God. And I will live to see the goodness of God. If you don't have this belief, you will live a restless life that Joshua was talking about. You'll be restless. You'll be running here and there today. And most of you, that is why you are. Today, they say this man, they run out. Today, they say this person, Christians sitting in church and going to shrines and all kinds of things. But listen to me. Listen. Last, I attended a function. And it, it had never occurred to me, but it occurred to me. I was asked to pray. I was, it was a big function. So I did the open prayer. And Imam was supposed to do the closing prayer. So when he got to the Imam time, he came. And he spoke Ashanti for everybody to understand. But when he came to the prayer, he prayed in Arabic. Then it occurred to me that his God only understands Arabic. I'm, I'm telling you, listen, listen to me. Go to Antranyama. The priest of Antranyama will never speak English because his God doesn't understand English. Go to any shrine in Vota region. They will not speak English. They will speak ever. Because they are God. That is the language they understand. We serve a God who understands every language. Because he created the language. This is the God we serve. Look, go to any shrine in Ghana. 
They will speak the look because that is the language that God understands. Hello? That's why it doesn't matter. As fluent as a malam is, he has to pray in Arabic. That's why I tell you, they serve a different God. It's not the God we serve. Are you hearing me? Go to the second, the third point. Believe that God's goodness will what? Follow you. What does it say in Psalm 23 verse 6? Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me some days. All the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So, this was David. He said, it's not only I'm going to live to see the goodness of God, but God's goodness will follow me. He believed that. He, God's goodness will follow. That's why he said, even though I walk through the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because I know his goodness is with me. It is following what? Me. Point four. Expect God's goodness in your life. Psalm 21 verse 3. What you don't expect, you don't get. There are some of you, when you get up in the morning, all that you are expecting is something bad to happen to you. It will happen to you. Because what you expect is what you see. Are you hearing me? It's like some of you. Anytime you, you are going to sleep, you expect to dream somebody chasing you. So you dream, I have not dreamt somebody chasing me. Because I don't expect that. Are you hearing me? What you expect will come on you. If you expect God's goodness, you will experience it. If you don't expect it, you will not experience it. It says in Psalm 21 verse 3, you meet him with the blessings of what? Goodness. You set a crown of pure gold upon what? This is God. He will meet us. So every morning when you get up, expect something good to happen to you. Stop thinking of the witch, the witch, the witch, the witch. Are they? I don't know. You say you okay. And everything you are expecting. Yeah. And so there are some people, they can't, they can't even sleep. Because if a rat can, ah, he gets up, yeah, one more come, yeah, come and you, or trim you. No, every time they, they, they expect so, uh, witches, there are some people who can't even go to their village because there are witches there. Expect the goodness of God every day in your life. Are you hearing me? Then the next one is. The good news is that God has stored up goodness for all those who fear him and want to do what? His way. Psalm 31 verse 19. He says, Oh, how great is your goodness which you have laid up for those who what? Fear you. Which you have prepared for those who trust in you in the presence of the sons of men. God has a lot of goodness in store for us. You can never, never, you see, everything God does for us is not because you deserve it. It's because he's a good God. It's because he's what? A good God. Come to the next scripture. NIV says, how abundant are the good things that you have stored are for those who fear you that you bestow in the sight of all, all those who take refuge in you. Then come to the next scripture. Psalm 84 verse 11. For the Lord, God is a sun and shield. And the Lord will give grace and glory. Let's all read the last line. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. No good thing. You see, when you have this belief, when you sleep, you sleep. 
That's my secret. I tell her never, look, if I can sleep with this size of the church, with about 600 churches under me, and then all kinds of responsibility, I can sleep, you can sleep. Hey, yesterday, when we finished the funeral, I have to rush to another uh, program, another member program. Because, and I went there, and they didn't close, they didn't close. I left about nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, I went to the house. I went, I slept just for two hours, and came for all night. And after all night, I am on my feet. This is the third service. And let me tell you, if just, I, when I sleep, I sleep. So with all the responsibility, if I can sleep, what is my secret? Because God is a good God. Nothing worries me because he is a good God. And anything that is good for me, you see, some God made me. He made me. And he knows what is good for me. I'm different from you. Are you hearing? Your problem is you are comparing yourself with a queer. But you are not a queer. My God, I said, is a good God. And he said, any good thing that is good for Ransford, he will not withhold it from me. And so I praise him every time. Are you hearing me? He's a good God. Those, he said, any good thing, if he doesn't give me, it's not good for me. Full stop. Are you hearing me? It's not good for me. Full stop. Why should I worry myself? If you have disbelief, you'll not be running here up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, and this and that. Ah! Oh, how are you and with the wind, with that. and most of you that's why I don't like because a lot of you you come to a good church like this of all the things that I'll preach you will go to a prophet and he will say something to you and destroy everything else even prophet in the one called Bible school one called seminary will you go to a doctor a doctor to, to operate you who never went to medical school Look, you see, there are dangerous things happening. Just yesterday, one charismatic pastor says that the blood of Jesus doesn't cure every curse. And I'm saying, to wear Christopher on the normal to a normal poem and seven. I have braces in a back and we, you bet you, Mike, and if you some call Bible school, Nicosian. Go to Bible school and learn. And the reason why he's saying that he wants a yesikasem, a nunti, a yeso bameho. Oh yes. Are you hearing me? Because there are a lot of people, as we are saying, they don't know God. You can preach. Preaching is a skill. You give any politicians this pulpit with this crowd, he will get a message to preach. And be, you see, it takes somebody who knows God to tell you. You know, many times when I come here and I tell you, people think that, oh, pastor, Anka, would you see, you serve a good God. Amen. And he says, anything that is good for you, he will not prevent it from coming to you. So if you don't have it, it means it's not good for you. Full stop. Are you hearing me? Go to the next uh, one. The next point. Six. Through Jesus Christ, the door is open to go to God's presence and receive all the goodness you need. And this is what I want you to get me carefully. Psalm 65. Verse 10. And verse 4. It says, Blessed is the man you choose. This is the... Blessed is the man... We have been chosen by Christ. Are you hearing me? You did not call me, but I heard. I called you. I chose you. We've been chosen by Christ. And he said, blessed is the person that has been chosen. And caused to approach God. He's talking about, listen, he's talking about going to God. 
in your devotional time. That's why you see, let me tell you, it's not say minimum ya minti. Na minim. A dear devotion yenti. The whole of Ghana. Pastor be anywa or can devotion was sem at the same. Why? Because your devotional life, listen, he says that blessed is the man you chose and caused to approach you that he may dwell in your courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house, of your holy temple. You see, listen, anytime you go to God's presence, there are a lot of goodness there and you don't go back the same. You attract his goodness. If you don't know how to go to his presence, that is your problem. That's your problem. Are you hearing me? That's your problem. And you didn't mean to me a soft papendi. Me catch her with say, Anka ah. Now you can make me so Anka me so hey handkerchief you am you hey. Me the paper me nim sesi a charismatic for umbe jedi. The paper me nim sesi ah. Where we hear he libra umbe jedi. What me nim umbe jedi? Me 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 a soft papa me me call heaven. Me me call day heaven. I'm going to heaven, so I won't do those things. If you will learn as a Christian, you don't go out without going to his presence. Because when you go to his presence, you attract God's goodness. It is in his presence. Listen. You see, when you go to a place where they are smoking and you are not a smoker and you don't smoke, when you get out, somebody will think you are smoking because the smoke will be what? All over you. That it is when you go to God's presence. When you go to his presence, there are goodness store up for you. And you attract those goodness. Are you hearing me? Hey, let, me let me give you an example. Hear me. You see, that's why you see, the most important, that's why you see, the beginning of the year I told you, there are four things that when somebody gets it, he will never backslide and he does it. And the first one is your personal devotion. Didn't I say the four habits of a disciple? Because listen, most of you, the media is there, but you are not using it. TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. There's something called Spotify. You have all the Christian music there. That is what you should get on your phone, not TikTok. Are you hearing me? Get it on your phone. In the morning, you begin to play it. In the morning, that's why. In the morning, I can have an orchestra in my room. I just play it and I sing. And I enter into his presence. So that I can attract his goodness before I go out. Because there's goodness stored up in his presence. Are you hearing me? Sam, I come to Hebrews 1. Seeing then that we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens. Jesus Christ, the son of God. Let us hold fast our confession. Don't change. Hold it fast. He's a good God. Are you hearing me? This is something that should enter into your mind and your spirit. That would the Quran be be war? I say he's a good God. You see, he's a good God. You see, let it be part of you. Let it be your faith capsules. You get up in the morning. He's a good God. I serve a good God. And I will live to see his goodness. I will experience it. It will follow me in all the days of my life. This is the God we serve. Seeing that we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens. Jesus, the son of God. Hmm. They don't pay attention. That's why I'm telling you. People don't pay attention. If he was paying attention, you will see that I'm reading. When look at me and look then when I start, then you start. Hey, 
Me say hey, one day be yeah yeah sorry, and I me bump you into that place. No, back off here Nigerian film. And I'm saying wow we. Nigerian film no. Hey, we be tiemia. It be si wey. Me so be yade in. So we be tiemia. It be si wey. I quit it here we. We be tia smoka. It be si wey. Seeing then that we have a great high priest who has passed through the heaven, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weakness, but was in all point tempted as we are and yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may what? Obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of what? Need. You see, listen. The door has been opened for all of us. I am not the only, listen, the Bible didn't say that a door has been opened for pastor. It's for every believer. In heaven, there is no VIP road for pastor. And there's uh, customers and members. And Heaven, we all go there by one way. That is Jesus. There are no two ways. Are you hearing me? If you go by Jesus, the door, and he said, it has been opened to us. Let us come and obtain the mercy, the goodness, and everything we need in order. And let me say this to you. That's why you see, if you're a Christian, don't joke with your devotional. You see, going into his presence, let me tell you something. I want to give you an extreme illustration. Even the devil, when he went to the presence of God. Job's time. He was granted his request. He said, you give me permission. God said, you go. But don't touch his eh? Another time he went. He said, give me permission. Okay, you can torture his body, but you can't take his soul. So, even Bon Sam Kran, Unyan, your pa, where? Because nobody goes to his presence. Learn to enter his presence. Learn to enter his presence. Learn to enter his presence. Well, be a crown now. And an alcohol or chiamisu. And an alcohol chiamisu. Uko. Uko him fear. Ubenso muninata to So tune for Becon Sebra. You go straight in Wakuchian. A crane be a mafia with Jinaho and a German ferry, Menfata. Que, could you know you better be pub with you on our trip? Yes, you be a crane on me. Jesus has opened the door. Go yourself. Don't go through anybody. Don't go through any prophet. Don't go through anybody. Go yourself. Go into his presence and attract his goodness, his mercy, his grace. Ah. What's the thing? Oh, people say, what's up with that? Oh, there's a level you have to go. That level, that's all called. Ah. These are restless preaching. And man who say there's a level, media may call level, but so for but then level now call. Yen you know one level. Yen you know what? One level. Sure. You better da. Now near the air yana say, Aya, and now da a call faster than in Ukraine. You know, falsehood and lies travels faster than the truth. Are you hearing me? So that is what we like. The door has been opened. Go to his presence. Attract his goodness. Expect his goodness. It will follow you. It will be with you. And anything that happens, you say, Lord, I serve a good God. I serve what? A good God. If not, People will tell you things you are not supposed to hear. And today, you are running to this place. Today, you run to this place. Today, you run to this place. Ah! 
a pastor of this, if I tell you, people will come to me and say, hey, pastor, I dreamt. I, I, just, I, say, I just talked to God. I'm not at loggerhead with God. So, I will talk to him. Because I can't believe you. You see, the strange thing is that people believe the prophet word more than the written word of God. Oh, yes. Oh, problem. No, no. Catch the obiotun chest. Oh, problem. No, no. Oh, problem. No, no, no. They believe in the so-called prophet word than the word of God. That's our problem. This is the word of God. The unadulterated word of God. The anointed word of God. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will not pass away. And God says, no good thing will he withhold from you. He's a good God. Believe in goodness will follow you. Believe that you will see the goodness of God in the land of the living. It is very, very important. If not, if not, ah, I am here. I am here. What people will say, eh, most of the people in the world, oh, baby, it was secret. Oh, that, that. Oh, that, that. Oh, that's so good. Because Ghana for the, we are the plane, and yet, but you see, I'm catching me bar all night, and then you're catching me, say, we are seeing me say, me the handkerchief, you found me in, we are made by two, so, who person will break through, through, now we have one million, come here, but who, in the part, more, 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 with the man, make us ask him, after, with the man, next week, me, me, preaching, make us ask him, who, be who, ma, we are made by two, but who, Are you hearing me? Ah! We are you free? Are you free? Are you hearing me? When I come and I tell you the access have been opened, there's the door. Go to his presence and attract his goodness. For me, I can't go. Ah! Jesus died. He paid the price. He's finished everything. When he said he's finished, let us rest assured that once I serve my God, no good thing. So even though I may not understand what has happened, God, you are a good God. 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 You will not withhold 